Good day everyone, this is Teacher Eunice again and we're solving for the elapsed time today. Now first, let's find out what the word elapsed mean. It means something that has passed or gone by. And when we're talking about time, it means the time that has passed or gone by when doing something like the time in between. And for today, we're going to solve for the elapsed time using two different ways. The analog clock and the number line, which we will see in another video. Now, let's go ahead and solve for the elapsed time using the analog clock. Here's the first situation. Carmela started reading at 9.15 a.m. and ended at 10 o'clock a.m. How long did she read? Now, we have to take note of two different times here in this situation. Of course, the time when Carmela started and when she finished doing the activity. First, when did she start? She started at 9.15 a.m. and that's going to be called the start time. Let's mark it yellow. Now, what time did she finish? That's right. So she ended reading at 10 o'clock a.m. And that's going to be the end time, which I'm going to mark green. Now the clue here is the phrase, how long? That tells us that we're looking for the time in between she started and ended the activity. And that's the time that ha has passed or elapsed time in short. Now, what we're going to do is use the analog clock to count the time that has passed between start and end. And I'm going to help you out by moving the arrows in here. So first, let's move the hour hand. By the way, this clock is already showing the correct start time, 9.15. Now we're moving it to the time, 10 o'clock, the end time. So first is, I'm gonna move the hour hand pointing to 10. Next is, move the minute hand till we reach 12. However, as we do so, we need to count the minutes in between, right? So, we'll count by five since each number in the clock represents five minutes, all right? So, as I move the minute hand, we'll count together by five. Ready? Let's do this. Five minutes passed. 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 minutes passed by. Now it's showing the correct end time, 10 o'clock. Again, how many minutes passed? 45 minutes has passed between 9.15 to 10 o'clock a.m. So that's the elapsed time. Now my tip here is when you're just counting for the minutes or the elapsed time in minutes, you can do that by looking at the clock and counting by fives. All right, we're done with the first situation. Now let's go ahead and solve for the elapsed time in hours in this second situation. Pedro practiced playing the guitar from 2.05 p.m. to 4.20 p.m. How long did he practice? Now, let's, it's important to know when the activity started. When did he start playing the guitar? That's right, it's 2.05 p.m. And we'll mark it yellow, start time as well. Now, when did he finish playing the guitar that's right it's here 4 20 p.m that's the 
and time and we'll mark it for you too. Now the clue is still here. How long did he practice? The phrase how long signifies we're looking for the time that has passed in between these two or the elapsed time. Ready? So we're gonna solve it using, again, the analog clock. Here's the analog clock recorded in here are the start time and the end time. And as you can see, the clock already shows the correct start time, 2, 5 p.m. Now, as we rotate the hour and minute hands, it is important to know that 60 minutes is equivalent or equal to one hour. So every time you see this minute hand passing this one, number one in here, or the mark, that means an hour has passed from the original time, 2.05. All right? Okay, so let's move first the hour hand. For example, moving it to 3 and then 05. So we're gonna make one revolution around the clock. So 205 going to 305, that means one hour has passed. And Pedro is still playing the guitar. How about Four, five. Let's see. It's moving around the clock. Another revolution. Another hour has passed. So from two o five till four o five, Pedro is still playing the guitar. Two hours has passed already two exact hours. Now, we're still gonna move the minute hand till we reach 420. So two hours, let's count by five, the remaining minutes till we reach 420. Two hours and five minutes, two hours and 10 minutes, two hours and 20 Oh. And 15 minutes, I think. Yeah, that's right. So the correct time or the exact time that has passed between 2.05 to 4.20 p.m. is 2 hours and 15 minutes. So Pedro has been practicing for 2 hours and 15 minutes. So the important thing here to note is every revolution or complete rotation around the clock of the minute hand is equal to 1 hour. Each time, the minute hand revolves around the same start time, that means one hour has passed. You can just count it until you reach the correct end time. See? That's how we use the analog clock to count or solve for the elapsed time in minutes and in hours. There. Now let's have a recap. To solve for the elapsed time, note the beginning of the activity, which is the, what do you think? The start time, that's right. And when the activity has finished or also called as, that's right, the end time. Three important things you have to take note of every time. 
We can also use two ways to solve for the elapsed time. One, by using the analog clock, which we did just earlier. And the other way, by using a number line, which we'll do in another video just right after this. Thank you everyone for being with me and sharing the time. I am glad that you uh, watched this video. I hope that you'll also watch the other video because that is equally important. Now, I'll see you again next time. Thank you and keep safe. God bless. Bye.